Hey folks, it's Beard Boy here, and I've got a problem. If we want to complete this game and end the Ender Dragon, we need to go to the Nether. So in today's episode of Modded Minecraft Hardcore, we're gonna make ourselves our own custom Nether portal and get supplies needed for Eyes of Ender. Let's go. So over here is where I want to build this Nether portal. I'm gonna have it a massive Nether portal right here coming out of a cave, like it was carved into this. We're gonna have vines. We're gonna have bush leaves all that covering it while also having a walkway down to here and i think we'll go there and we'll also get supplies for uh, tr uh crimson trees and warped trees that we can put on either end and some other trees because it is the better nether in this pack we'll have the net uh we'll have the portal here and then around the walkway we'll have nether themed areas going down the walkway down to there but first we're gonna need obsidian we're gonna need a lot of these. One eternity later. What is this? What? Unobtainium, what is this? Unobtainium, I think it's just a block. <laughs> like, it's interesting. It's an interesting block. We got an achievement from it, but I don't think this matters at all. While I'm down here, I'm gonna grab some of these, these glow berries, because we can use them for the design of this nether portal. Seriously, you're gonna make me walk all the way down there like a peasant. Okay, now to that back up here, and yes, I went a little mining by accident, I swear. Now we're gonna start getting this cleared out. I have to get rid of all these trees. A few minutes later. Okay, with the trees gone, we still have a little bit more uglier stuff here that I gotta get rid of. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. There we go. That's a lot better. Now, just a little bit of reverse gardening here. There we go. We have it perfectly cleared out. Now, this is going to be easier for us to make a little pathway going down. And now it's time for me to put where the portal is. So obviously you can't have a diagonal por portal. So how we're going to have to construct this is going like this way before we build this cave consider subscribing it's free and all you have to do is press that white button down below let's get to it okay after clearing all this out i got this started and i messed up those are supposed to be in the ground not right there but this is where it's going to be started and then we're going to have a little cave be molded in with it so let me clean my mess so freaking stupid why would i how did I do this? What is wrong with me? I knew I wanted to put it in the ground. I knew I wanted just to be able to walk in, but no, I'm an idiot. I am an absolute idiot. This is why I don't deserve nice things. This is why. Okay, now we're gonna do this, right? Put this all in the ground like so, and I'm not gonna spam clip because I have already mined obsidian enough, but I wanted to go a decent amount in the air, but like right to there. There we go. That is the other portal I wanted. I want to be able to walk in and easily have the space open and thanks to a lot of these blocks we mined while doing this it's going to help with this project because i don't want it just to be this uh the site i also want it to look more actual cave like so i'm just gonna get rid of all this stuff from my inventory and i'm gonna go get more blocks and we're gonna get started actually um building the sucker okay so what i'm thinking is having it arch a little bit downward so we'll have it up here what we'll do is that we'll have it come over this and go a little bit downwards a couple of blocks a little bit perched over that way it has a caved in not caved in but like sunken in effect into the cave and then we'll have little spots like here or here in front of it as well as well as making little areas where it's wrapping around so like we'll have a wall wrapping around over to here and then when we go in we'll have little fragments of the cave covering up the portal so let's get to building also i have stone here let's get to building replay mod time
Okay, we have the main cave part somewhat figured out. Uh, I have a couple more spots that I can like touch up like right here. That way we can just cover parts of this up, make it look like it's a part of this. Oh my, it's these corner bits that kind of suck. The... I'm really liking it so far. It kind of extends over there. I want to try and change this as well, so I'm going to have to get more cobblestone or any of this kind of material like this out in the village, because I can actually just clean uh, clean these spots up like I've been wanting to while doing this. And also, I am going to be having the floor be done with moss up here with a little bit of a walkway leading here, but this looks pretty dang good so far, and I haven't even went into the hard details yet. This is just the basics. So, yeah, by details, I mean stuff like this. So now I'm gonna go get more materials so we can uh, finish this, this part here, and do a little bit more final detail work, and then I think we're almost gonna be done. Also, this is very ugly. We'll have to change that too. Oh yeah, that works. It helps the moths. Okay, time for resource gathering. Every Minecraft YouTuber's worst nightmare. Two thousand years later. Now I'm just adding in the final detail work. That way we have little cracks and stuff all over everywhere. I really like this this part of doing this. Then we maybe put, eh, no, that doesn't work. I'll have to figure it out. Okay, now that we got the inside all decorated, we have our inside of the cave flooring. Now I'm gonna make a pathway going down and we're gonna use the wood that we cut down because I really wanted to use something that I don't usually use so far in this series. So we're gonna take all this wood. Uh, oh, more. Okay, we maybe have went too much. Uh, but there we go. And then we'll have some stairs as well. As we'll use stairs. And uh, we'll see which ones I like better. We'll also do regular all slabs. And we'll see how I like them. I think in spots like going up here, they actually might be better. So I'm going to get this done really quick with a little bit of a twirl. Whoa. There we go. I got a basic path down. I didn't try to stick to a specific theme in terms of how wide it's gonna be at some spots. Some will be three, some will be two, and then as low as we get down here, it'll get down to even like five, which to me is fine enough. I'm not trying to go for anything too crazy in terms of like staying with the style because maybe we want it to thin up as we're going up, right? And also this needs a little bit of fixing. Okay, with all the moss everywhere now covering the area, this is gonna be our bottom spot for where these trees are gonna go, these nether trees. And we're gonna have them just custom trees going up close to the cave on each side. I think we'll do two each. That way it's a little kind of a good looking, maybe do smaller ones as well. And as it leads up to the nether portal. So now I'm gonna go make a flint and steel. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh boy. Actually, we'll add the final decorations when we come back. I want to go get some of the other stuff. So, to the nether we go. Oops. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. Whoa. Okay. Uh, that was not necessary. Not necessary at all. Okay, burning stopped. Also, I see a little spawner here for, I'd say the more useless mobs if you actually, if you hit them, yeah, they're not useless, but if you do, they're kind of, you know. Okay, for the blazes, um, we definitely got them. We definitely got the blazes. Whoa! Chill! Chill, homie. I just want to kill you. Oh, ow. Ow. They hit hard. You gotta, like, keep on killing stuff. Until we have enough, I have that over there. I should probably grab it before it spawns. There we go. And we need like 14. I'm gonna grab a bunch if I can. And we're just gonna keep on going till these we have enough and then we'll try and spawn proof this. Oh boy. 
Okay, we have 16 blaze powder, so what I'm gonna do is block this off because they still can spawn. But it's good to know that that's there just in case we need it. And ooh, we got a new ore. Sinsonite. I remember this ore. Where'd it go? There it is. We can make armor with it, but it's like the equivalent of like, diamonds, so... I don't think it's going to be the most useful thing in the world, so I'm going to try and find my way out of here. Ooh, nether rubies. If you're starting out your world and you're just coming in diamonds, unlike what uh, I'm doing here, if you don't have access to these, even without fortune, you are able to get multiple, and it's pretty decent armor for what it is. So I'll still pick it up, because who knows, maybe I want to... Ooh on a piece of armor that I haven't before. Yeah, it's really good for what it is, so I'd recommend if you guys need any. And then we have Bing, uh, Bing more. Whoa! It explodes? We just almost lost the world right there. Okay. Well, it does have Bing in the name. I should have expected that. I've never had that in better Minecraft. Maybe it's a thing, but, like, it gets turned off with mod packs, but oh my. Be very careful. Okay, I got what I need. I need this for the good old thing we like to call a sugarcane farm. We'll build that maybe in a live stream or maybe make it its own episode. Uh, we'll grab like two more. Yeah, that, that should be fine for now. And I was able to find, I wasn't able to find the actual trees, but we have the warped fungus. We have some of these and in clutch. I say this well in clutch. An Enderman dropped that, so we're getting our way out of here. We're gonna go and fix our old pickaxe here, which we don't have a name on him yet. I should go get him a name when we get back up there. So we're getting out of the nether. We shouldn't need to be here any longer. And I was thinking maybe doing the crimson, but I think we're just gonna do warp because it's gonna match the green better. So let's go home. Oh boy. We got very, very lucky. But sometimes it's better being lucky than good. Okay, we've got all of what we need here. And now it's time to make these custom trees, which will have specific spots for them. So I'm going to go and right here. So I'm going to get this started. And here is the finished product. Say hello to the nether portal cave. Oh my, I'm loving this already. It looks really good and I'm really happy. I didn't want to go with extremely big trees for the custom ones. Like I did almost a basically normal one right there. But I am pretty much happy for the most part with these trees. And then we have these little mushrooms that I decided to use. Like we had these vines. I'm like, oh, those could be cool stems. And we also have the warped roots everywhere. And we have these little light areas, like it's been infected over. I am really, really happy with how this turned out. And I hope you guys were happy as well. Folks, the next episode, we're going to be facing the Ender Dragon, so get ready. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider subscribing. We're on the goal to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and we just hit 1k. So let's see if we can do that nine more times. Consider liking the video, because liking always helps. And comment down below what you thought of today's episode. I've been Beard Boy OG, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.